Today, we are discussing the National Park Service. As you may know, I'm actually doing the same thing that I'm teaching you guys out there. I'm working with the federal government and I'm trying to solicit them for business. I'm looking for work, I'm looking for projects. And I have a client of mine that we're working with up in the Northeast United States. And one of the potential clients that we're looking at, or one of the potential agencies that I'm looking at, is the National Park Service. So I had the privilege of speaking with someone from the Denver Service Center the other day. Um, I spoke with a person from National Parks and they gave me some good ideas and I want to share that with you and all of you out there so that maybe this could potentially help someone uh, that's watching my YouTube channel that's following me land a contract with the National Park Service. All right, so let's take a look at the National Park Service and what I want to show you right now. I'm over here on my computer and as you can see, if we type in National Parks falls under the Department of Interior, so let's type in Department of Interior forecast list. We click here, click forecast, and it lists the procurement opportunities, fiscal year 2018 forecast list. Now, the information that the young woman shared with me, um, here's the forecast list. If you click this link, it pulls up an Excel spreadsheet. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up that spreadsheet now. And on this spreadsheet, you will see is a list, and this is what it looks like. Actually, it's, it's, it's letting me right at the bottom of the page. But on this spreadsheet, what you'll find, there's 1,951 opportunities. And they're organized by contract types. It gives you the name of the opportunity. It also tells you the value range of the job. It tells you where the place performance is and a point of contact name and number. All right, and this again, this is for 2018 projects. So right now, we are in July 2018. The fiscal federal year ends in September 30th of 2018. Therefore, you have about two months or a month and a half left before the fiscal year ends. The information that the young lady provided to me was that a lot of times, even though the Denver Service Center is the place or the distribution point of all contracts for national parks, the local parks also, they give out their own procurement. And for a lot of people out there that are looking for simplified acquisition or micro purchases, this is a great opportunity for you to solicit directly to a national park in your local area and also find a potential opportunity or maybe find an opportunity to work with them. So what happens is I understand from my phone calls, weekly phone calls with subscribers like yourself, that a lot of people are wanting to small off with much smaller opportunities under the $10,000 threshold, under the $25,000 threshold. This is your place to go to do that and also be close to your uh, geographical location, whatever city, state that you live in. So it's, it's I want to compare it to uh, more like a state or a local contract because it's close in terms of proximity to your actual physical location. However, you're getting federal past performance, federal jobs, and it's also a smaller project. So if you want to, if you're afraid of going after the larger things, or if you don't have past performance, um, sufficient past performance, you believe to pursue a much larger opportunity, this is the place that I would say that you could go right away. You, there's probably in your local area, there may be 10 or 15 numbers. So it's very easy, manageable uh, number of people to call, to reach out to, to solicit. Nothing extraordinary. But at the same time, you gain the benefit of working in the federal marketplace. So as you can see, there's 1,950 opportunities. They have them in all states. Everyone has a national park in their state. You can sort by state and you can pick uh, or choose the ones that are closest to you. So this is a way of using the forecast list to identify potential future clients for jobs and opportunities coming up. Even if you're not successful in landing something right now, you still have the opportunity, you're still building relationships, you're still making connections, and from my understanding, if the person at the local level, right, they like you and they want to do business with you, they can then refer that back up to the Denver Service Center for larger contracts, for larger opportunities, for set-aside jobs, for uh, negotiated type proposals, all right? So this is your tidbit for today. Take advantage of the National Park Service, their forecast list of almost 2,000 opportunities for the last 60 days left before the federal fiscal year ends.